All right, I'm just uploading the last of my nine instructional videos onto Vimo. I haven't put the password in yet for the uh, this video. They're all private videos, so that you can only see them if I send you a link and uh, the password so you can open it up and watch it. So anyway, I've got uh, over nine videos on my Vimo uh, that are uh, protected with a password on each one. Um, I've got 10, actually 11 videos. And if you purchase all nine of the listed videos, you get two extra uh, videos uh, full videos as a bonus. I give you a link to my blog where I have all nine of my videos, let's see, shown. And you can see a review of each of these videos uh, here on this uh, blog. And off to the right is a drop down menu where you can order my videos it says dvd but it's actually video that you're purchasing and a streaming video off of vimo and if you select all nine videos uh, you uh, get two extra videos right now i got i think i'm going to have a third bonus video uh, added all this is uh, for you on my uh instructional videos. All right, let's get busy sculpting. Time to play with some clay. All right, I hope you didn't mind my little self-promotion there at the beginning of the video. I just have to do that because, quite honestly, it pays for a lot of what I do when I sell my instructional videos. So I just want to make sure everybody understands how they can purchase them and uh, how easy it's going to be now. I just sold uh, uh, a... Uh, video to a gentleman in Great Britain and uh, it took what five seconds to email it to him he didn't have to pay any duties or anything on uh, uh, receiving his video but he also requested if I would send it to his daughter uh, the day after Christmas which would be Christmas Day here and I said, absolutely. And I got her address and I'm going to send it out uh, on uh, Christmas Day. And anybody wants to buy a Christmas present for their son or daughter or mother or father or whatever, husband, wife, who's into sculpting, uh, it's a good gift. And I'll be glad to uh, email it to them on Christmas Day. I'm... Uh, going to add a bonus video to every two video order I get for the next, uh, well, for the next 24 days, 25 days, in fact. You can order it on Christmas Day if you want um, as a Christmas gift, and I'll bonus you a video when you purchase more than one video. So, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. All right, I'm going to get back to sculpting on this head. I've got about an hour I can work on this, and because I'm going to dinner, <laughs> I got a call just a few minutes ago, and they wanted to take me to dinner with some friends of mine, so uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. And so I'm going to cut away from here now and uh, come back uh, when I get a little further along.
I don't think I added ears on the other ones, so I'm going to have to do that. And I'm just setting his ears like uh, he's listening behind him because of what's going on. And I'll adjust that when I get these horses all together. I just thought I'd do that here. This is fun. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. And, uh... From what I've observed uh, in the videos that I've seen of horses running in stampedes or running together, very few of them uh, have uh, their mouths open. And that's why I'm not opening their mouths in this piece. There is a movie on uh, YouTube you can watch that shows the kind of horse uh, that I'm sculpting here in it. It's called Tumbleweed. It stars Audie Murphy. And uh, well into the movie, uh, he tries to steal a horse and uh, he ends up uh, with a cayuse, which was a typical type of horse on the prairie back in the uh, 1800s and uh, in fact the uh, sculpture uh, called end of the trail the uh, warrior bent over the horse with his spear down towards the ground that was a cayuse and uh, I thought that was interesting but if you want to see what a cayuse looks like and get some of the attributes of a, a Mustang or a, that type of horse, which would have been used by Native Americans as well as cowboys, um, they, it was a non-grain fed horse. It, it could live off of the grass. Uh, most horses that lived off the grain couldn't survive on the prairie. For very long and that's why a lot of cowboys used uh, mustangs now in the movie it made it look like it was an unusual horse for his time and era but quite honestly that's hollywood and uh they were quite usual at that time in fact they were usual up until the 40s and 50s all right, I got to cut this eye out and move it over or down and over because it doesn't line up with the one on the other side. It's not a big deal, it's just a little surgery. Every once in a while, you have to do a little surgery. There we go. That's better. It's just a fraction of an inch, but it makes a difference. Uh, you want the eyes to be at the same level and the same height on the head. And no matter how careful you are, you every once in a while can screw it up. 
And I did. Okay, now I'll just blend it in and it'll be like it was never cut apart. So I got about, well, maybe an afternoon of working on this uh, horse head. And uh, I don't think it's going to take too long. But I've got to get it right. I'm not going to worry about the legs right now because I want to be able to get these three clays onto the base so I can see what I've got to sculpt and in and uh, I've got to come up with a design for the base and some of these legs may not have to be sculpted fully and there's no reason to waste my time if that's the case doing that because some of these may be in the middle of a sagebrush. Well, I'm going to have to work on that out tomorrow. All right, everybody, that's it for today, and I'll catch you later. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.